Uh, hello, vinyl community people. It's Mike MGK Boston. A little raspy. It's been a rather crappy week around here at the house of COVID. Um, <laughs> I had sick. Patty got sick. I'm on the end of it. She's in the middle of it. It's really wetted bliss out here in Metro West, but uh, we'll get through it. Right, Colton? So yeah, I thought I'd, I'd just jump on a thread. I haven't been on on uh, YouTube for about a week. Um, so anyway, this thread, it's uh, Jack over at Jack's CD Cave. I uh, thought it was rather timely. He's got a Super Bowl thread going, so it's kind of two-prong. Um, he's got, you have to, uh, two parts. You have to show a super group, with a super, and then you have to spell bowl, B-O-W-L, with band names, surnames of soul artists, whatever it might be, right? So yeah, I thought, hey, this is an easy one, and I'll make a quick video, right? So let's see where we got here. So since Jack, he's in the CD cave. If you go over there, you can see he's clearly in a cave full of CDs. It's a pretty cool room. It looks like he's got a nice setup there. Hey, Colton, yeah. And uh, yeah, so here's a super group for you right here uh, from 1991, uh, 1990, uh, It's Temple of the Dog, right? Featuring Chris Cornell on lead vocals and pretty much the whole band is Pearl Jam. Uh, and they would come out with this debut just four months after the release of this, 10 would come out. Colton's going for my bottle of water. We can't have that. I'm just trying to keep hydrated here, Jack. Over at Jack's CD Cave. So yeah, this one, I was a huge Chris Cornell fan, Chris Cornell fan the late great. Um, there's the duet on here that was a huge single with uh, between uh, Chris Cornell and uh, of course our friend Eddie Vedder. And that is uh, Hunger Strike right there, track three coming in right there. There's a couple other great moments on here. Say Hello to Heaven. Um, uh, what else? Reach Down, Times of Trouble. I haven't listened to this in ages. Looks like it saw some parties. Jewel box here. I don't remember if there's anything really on the inside to show the band. No, they chintzed out. Not even a photo of the band on here. But anyway, Eddie Vedder, Pearl Jam, Chris Cornell, Temple of the Dog. It's your super group. I'm going to spell bowl here, right? Yeah, here's these fine ladies from the 80s, from the England. Uh, the England, I was going to say the UK. England, Bananarama, self-titled debut. Of course, everybody knows that great video for Cruel Summer. It was a huge one on MTV and much music in Canada. Terrific, featuring the vocal stylings of these three gals, uh, in particular Siobhan Fahey, who would later marry Dave Stewart from the Eurythmics. And they had a couple of kids, and then they had a divorce, as the things go. But anyway, I'm spelling bowl. That's Bananarama. All right, a little trippy, trippy, zippy, hip hop. It's not hip hop, trip hop, whatever you want to call it, electronica. It's the orb, little fluffy clouds. Well, it's actually little fluffy clouds was the single and it's this one's just called Adventures Beyond the Ultra World, right? And little fluffy clouds is track one on here. So it's the orb. Right there, yes. Colton's back in action here. It's funny, I just saw this one here in Mutha Alomar. He was having a Tipsy Tuesday, and he just showed his vinyl version of this one. Colton, leave Santa alone. He's trying to pick on Santa there. It's not nice. I got Cherry Pie right here, right? A little uh, hair metal for you from 1990 right here. I have a little slice of Cherry Pie right there. All right. And the L, I'm going to finish off Bowl with some Little Feet from 1973. Produced by band member Lowell George, another late great right there, and that's Dixie Chicken, right? Really good, uh, early 70s, jammy, jam bandish stuff. And that's going to do it for that thread. Now I want to give a contest update since I'm here getting through this. Uh, where are we here in my notes? Oh, yes. So my push to a million subscribers contest. I'm going to include a link to Jack's thread uh, below, Jack's uh, CD cave, and also a, uh, a link to my contest launch. I am on my way to a million subscribers. It's been a slow crawl. Could use a few more uh, subscribers, people. Come on, let's get, let's do this, right? I've got almost 40 video entries to the contest and it's not over yet. February 14th is the final date to submit and we're gonna draw that day, that, that evening. There is no time, I don't get into all that. 12 Eastern Standard Time, I'll be at work. I'll do it probably in the evening with Patty. We'll have a draw, draw the name, uh, one name from the hat, right? So here we got so far, right? Let's get to it. Josh at the flip side, Chris Profi, he's musically obsessed, in case you didn't know that, Jack at the Vinyl Martini, Joe at Racer Records, 
Rod, the Happy Hippie, Fitz Electric Bar, Matthew Street. He actually performed a wedding ceremony in his video, Matthew Street. Get over there and check him out. He's at uh, 5 million subscribers, so I mean, you know, it can be done, right? Je uh, Greg at Three Dimensions of Music. Steve at All the World's a Stage. Keith at Attack from Down Under. Get down there and give Keith some subscribers. He's pushing to 100 right now. He can. We got to do it for my friend down there in New Zealand. Gary at Physical Format Jazz. Mike at For the Record. Curtis at Young LP Lovers. Rob at Northern Revolutions. Uh, Peter X's Cosmic Room. He's another guy down, down under, but he's in Sydney, Australia. We've got Mark at Twanger's Turntable. Uh, Steve at the Ralstonians Music Lounge. Mike, PC31, The Vinyl Policeman. The great Jeff Witcher. Just watched his deep dive on Rory Gallagher last night. That was nice uh, COVID viewing for me. Uh, Yeah, I'm playing this up a bit. I'm, I'm feeling quite a bit better than I, I did a few days ago. Could be a lot worse. Uh, yeah, where are we here? Jesus. Uh, yeah, Jeff Witcher. Matt at Prime Analog Records. Randall Nelson. Jacob at Jacob's Music Channel. Paul at Psycho's Platters. Spell Psycho, P-S-Y-K-O, if you want to seek him out. Uh, Tony at Two from the Trunk. Uh, Rich at Embarrassment of Riches. Aaron Mutha Alomar, like I just mentioned. Chris at Stylus Meets Vinyl. Keir Smith at From Me to You, my friend over in England. Kendall at The Spin Doctor and His Vinyl Mayhem. Ben Rankins, King of Shirts. Um, yeah, um, what was it about Ben? Yeah, I think Ben should send some fashion advice over to Brian at the Embryonic Robot. He needs some Paisley or something, right? He needs to flare it up a bit there. Get, get out of the planes into the plaids or do something, man. I don't know. Anthony at Gambler812. Berkshire Mike, Sam St. John, Don, the old goat. Thank you, Don. Colton, lunatic, trying to grab my bottle of water. Don, the old goat. Yes, uh, Harry at Harry's Music Room. That vinyl channel. And Mickey Maffei, Mc, Mickey Maffei he's doing a three-part uh, musical interlude. Mickey's an excellent guitarist, uh, college kid from New Jersey. He's over at Rutgers studying and playing playing some heavy rock, right? So he did a musical interlude of Metallica. So he promises me two more parts before the uh, the 14th deadline for the contest. So that's pretty cool. So that's going to round out two things. Uh, Jack CD Cave, uh, Super Bowl thread, as well as the contest update for my push to a million subscribers. So uh, yeah, if I'm feeling up to it, I'll, I'll do a uh, Friday Cheers tomorrow. And uh, yeah, that, that's going to do it for a Thursday, people. So I will see you next time.